fans in this video we are going to be doing this story I really like these stories I've done them before I've done like one one before and it really spooked me so if you guys don't like being scared you probably shouldn't watch this I, good evening run through these doors please okay ready jump in three open it three two one go 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 why? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Wait. Okay. I know you don't like being scared, but... Okay, I'm trying to... I'm gonna turn it down. Wait. What are you trying to do? Fix your volume? Yes, I'm gonna want it to be like... Oh, Scary, man. scary, Ray. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, Ray. Three, two, one. Go, 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 in. go, 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 go. Oh, oh. Oh. It's spooky, isn't it? He does a really good job when he does this. Can't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're gonna start reading it first. <gasps> oh. She invited her friends over to sleep over. The girls were excited. You wanna read it out loud? No, I'll just let them read it. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Okay. You actually gotta read it though. Oh, I well, know. I didn't know that, like, you can stop gay. Okay. Candace invited her best friends over for a sleepover. The girls were all excited after set settling in. Candace asked her friends, who wants to hear a scary story? They all raised their hands, excited. All right, okay. So that is, okay. Wait. Oh, I know what's behind this door. Can you open it? No, you can't open it. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay. I know, he does like a really good job. Okay. Okay, guys, this is a scary one, so get ready. Patty! Okay. Hey, okay, guys, this is a scary story. One to get ready. The girls got all giddily and walked, waited for Candace to begin. Once upon a time, there was a hairless named Mary Whitford who lived deep in the forest. You know what? I'm gonna just read it for now on. Yeah, you read it. Because honestly, yeah, I don't cause, like, like reading. I'm, yeah, you know. <gasps> Mary was a beautiful woman who had become a powerful healer and would make potions with herbs to help heal people from, the il il from their illnesses. She was the best healer anyone had ever known. Um, Everyone start. would always... Wait! Okay. Everyone would always comment about Mary's beauty and many men courted her secretly, but Mary was more interested in making medicine than getting married. Ooh, I'm scared. Well, but then one day, while Mary was out in the forest collecting mushrooms, she tripped over a chain and fell face first into a large bear trap that snapped clothes on her <gasps> face. Ew! <gasps> Mary managed to break free of the trap, but her face had become horribly damaged. Hold on. She refused to see to see anyone for over a year while she tried different medicines to heal the scars. Wait, let me on her look, face. show them what it looks like. What her face looks like. Oh, that looks it so looks bloody, like on her eyes. Mmm, I'm scared. Okay. What in the fuck? Okay, there we go. But nothing worked. Finally, she gave up and decided to wear a veil over her face and went back to work to healing people again. Everyone asked her what had happened over the last year and why she was wearing a veil. She told him that she just had... She had just needed time to study medicine more, and that her eyes had become light sensitive, so she wore the veil. You, uh, I can't believe she fell into a bear. Then trap. one day, a man named Lord Harlan showed up at our house. Lord Harlan was just one of the many men who'd fallen in love with Mary. And because and he'd come to ask her to marry him. Oh, the horse is so cute. Okay. 
He presented her with a huge ruby ring and promised her all of his wealth if she would just marry him. But Mary didn't care about the money. Bye, horsey. Horse, I don't like it. However, she did indeed find Laura Harlan to be very handsome, charming, intelligent, and sweet. So she told him that if he would accept her as she is, that she would marry him. It's going to show her, isn't it? Lord Harlan was so excited. He knelt down and said, Mary, I accept you as you are. Will you marry me? Mary answered, Yes, Lord Harlan, I will marry you. Mary knew Lord Harlan was an honorable man and a man of his word, so she just knew that he would not be concerned with how she looked now after the accident. It's going to show. I know Mary it. Mary held her hand and... Lord Harlan slipped on the ring. They embraced each each other, and Lord Harlan raised his hands up hands to her face and took off the veil to kiss her. I'm not looking. Once the veil was off, she smiled at him, but his eyes grew wide and his face was in on? disgust as he jumped backwards. What happened to you? You're a monster! He cried out loud. <gasps> it's, it's, it's scary. I'm gonna. It did get into a bear trap. Okay, so let's go. That's mean. That's horrible. Yeah, it is. I'm in that single moment. Mary's heart was shattered completely. Lord Harlan ran from Mary's house, screaming out aloud, "Witch, witch! Mary Whitford is a witch." That is mean. That is mean. Word spread throughout the village that Mary Whitford had become a witch, and she was. She, and she practiced black magic, which wasn't true at all. We get off, get off. I want to show them the scene. Even, I honestly don't believe black magic is real. You? Mm -mm. That's so sad. Just judging her because of her looks. Never if, if that, judge anybody because if, of their looks. If that, if I, um. If I was brave, brave enough to ask a man to marry me, and they and that happened to them, I would just go ahead and do it. The, I wouldn't. Okay, okay, okay. The local people from the surrounding villages gathered to, together to comfort Mary. They went to Mary's tiny house and kicked down a door. Oh, as instead of, it's it's comfort, not comfort. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's go. They dragged her out of her house and tore off her veil. She, they screamed in horror at the scars on Mary's face and began taunting her and laughing at her. Oh, calm it down. They, they even made up a rhyme of her. Mary, Mary, once so lovely. Mary, Mary, now so ugly. Mary sat down on the round, ground and wept as the villagers burned down her house and left. Oh, that's so sad. What were you going to say? I'll say it then. Wait, we need to get off for this one. It's yeah. Over. Like... After that, Mary moved deeper into the forest and, and lived in a small mud and grass hut. She was filled with anger at how horribly she was treated and at how she was portrayed. So she spent her time learning witchcraft and cast a spell on the world that would last forever. That's sad. You're such a nice person. Okay, let's go. Oh, jeez. I hate it when it becomes, like, dark. It's, it scares me. She wrote down on parchment, on parchments, what that spell would do and left one parchment in each village for all to know. Okay. Okay. The spell would curse anyone who repeated that ugly rhyme. What in the world is up with this? That the villagers made up about Mary by turning their faces to a real monster. <gasps> that, that's so scary. Wait, where's the monster at? Right there, there's one. I think she might have made that. Come on, Patty. Let's go. And if you repeat her name three times in the front mirror in a darkened room to appear inside of it looking back at you and sometimes in something terrible happens. Oh. <gasps> Did you hear that scream? Boom! Candace scream. 
The girls all screamed with fright. <sighs> Let's see if you see anything in the mirror. Like literally. You can't. I don't think you can. Oh, that scared me. Yeah, oh. usually there's a jump scare. So, be ready. <laughs> okay, and that's the story of Mary Whitford. The girls jumped and clapped, all of them agreeing that the story was great. But also very, very scary, yet very sad too. Yeah, you should never judge someone on their looks. Remember that, guys. Never judge anybody. Then Tara put her hand up and dared them to repeat Mary's what Mary Whitford's name in front of Candace. Candace's mirror together. At first, they all said no way, but after a little convincing, it sounded to me. Don't try it! Don't do it. Mm, I'm not gonna look. I, I, oh, Let's go. I'm not looking. <laughs> No, I, I, I ain't looking. The girls it, lit some candles, turned out the lights, and stood in front of the mirror and said the name Mary Whitford three times and waited. It's actually kind of really creepy, girls. You shouldn't do that. Mm -mm, scary. Mm -hmm. No, you should probably go first. Okay, wait. Okay, go. Okay, I'll tell you if it's scary. Okay. Is this scary? Is this scary? It's not the jump scare yet. Suddenly, a frightening face appeared in the mirror, and Candace screamed, but nobody else did. She looked at her friends and asked, did you see that? But they all said no. I see it. Oh. <sighs> okay, you go first. Patty, 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 Patty. Patty, it's Patty, Patty. Not that scary. Patty, you go first. Go! Um, you tell me if it's scary or not. Wink no, at I'm me. No, wink it at me so you won't spoil for them. Is it scary? Okay. Start really good. It was then they all admitted that they said, wait, it was then that they admitted that they said the name with their eyes closed. Candace was the only one who kept their eyes open when suddenly. Wink, Patty, wink at me if it's scary. Oh, no. Patty, is it scary? Patty, wink at me if it's scary. Two long and frightening hands reached out from the mirror and grabbed Candace, pulling her inside of it. Remember, wink at me when it's scary, because it gets scared easily, and I'll, I'll, I'll literally scream. Is this, is this scary? No? The, just don't ask that anymore. Okay. Now the girls could see Candace inside of the mirror, looking bad at them. Oh, and now, Candace looked monstrous. Oh, I'm scared. <gasps> oh! Mm, okay. Now she's trapped inside of this mirror with me forever, <coughs> yelled Mary Whitford. She glared at the girls and let out a horse, horrible scream before disappearing with Candace. Oh, so sad. <laughs> no one ever saw or heard from Candace again. <laughs> I'm not with you either. It's probably gonna be a jump scare. Okay. If you repeat her name three times in front of a mirror, no, don't do it. Mm, okay. don't oh my gosh! Comment down below. This is scary. Okay. It, this is scary. Oh, I looked. <laughs> Why did I look? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm probably gonna have nightmares. I didn't look. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to. Um, I did not look. I'm was probably, it? I'm probably gonna have to sleep in your room tonight. <laughs> was it scary? Yeah, it literally looks like. No, don't tell me. I don't. I. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if you like this story and if it was scary. Bye, cupcake fans. Till the next story.